So John Adams is inaugurated in this room, right? John Quincy Adams becomes president as well, the first father-son duo the, the Bushes would repeat later. But so John Quincy Adams becomes president. And we mentioned over there, you know, that Lincoln went to Washington, D.C., everybody knowing that he was anti-slavery. But the fact that he was anti-slavery was known because of his relationship to the Adams. So John Quincy Adams in Congress after being president mentored Abraham Lincoln. In fact, Abraham Lincoln was a pallbearer at John Quincy Adams' funeral. And John Quincy Adams was actually known as the hellhound of abolition. That was his whole focus. That's why he went back to Congress, was to get rid of slavery. He worked for 17 years, did not accomplish it at all. In fact, for a while he had a gag order. They wouldn't even let him talk about slavery. But, it, <laughs> but in that whole process, 17 years, no accomplishment, you would think. He actually said at one point when a reporter said, why are you always fighting for this? You're wasting your time. He said, duty is ours, results are God's. His attitude was, I'm going to work hard even if I don't get to see the results. He mentored Abraham Lincoln, and then, of course, 15 years later, Abraham Lincoln's president of the United States and actually does work to end slavery. So it's a, it's a really neat connection. Hmm. But it also shows that's why you've got to teach the next generation mm -hmm. about these principles. So, Brad, you were talking about Lincoln's commitment to the principles. I'd rather be assassinated right. than give up the principles. And that's a serious commitment, but it took someone instilling those principles, mentoring, passing on that thing. That's what we're doing. We're teaching people about the Constitution, teaching them these principles. That's why I love bringing you guys here. And you can't talk about the principles of li liberty without going to the actual Liberty <laughs> Bell. So it was a good time, right? Let's head over to the Liberty Bell. Let's go. All right, let's do it.